You guys, the coconut whipped cream is completely optional, but how fun does it look, you know? Boom. What is going on, you guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we are gonna be making three high protein, delicious, macro-friendly smoothie recipes. Now we're gonna be making a red velvet because how delicious does that sound? Everybody loves a good velvet, good red velvet cookie from City Cakes in New York City. If you guys haven't been, you need to put it on your bucket list. The second one is going to be a pina colada because we need a little bit of summer like tropics in our life, okay? We're missing summer already. It's cold here in Canada. I mean, it's already getting dark at 4.30. Not okay. And then the third one we're gonna be making is a chocolate magnum smoothie. So for all my chocolate lovers out there, it's gonna be creamy, it's gonna be caramelly, it's gonna be chocolatey, it's gonna be delicious. Now, the ingredients are gonna be super simple and everything is gonna be written down in the description box for you to screenshot and try on your own along with the macros that I'm gonna calculate at the end of this video. I have a pretty good idea, but I'm gonna make sure that I get it bang on for you guys. So you guys can find that in the description box below. Um, if you guys haven't already given this video a thumbs up, then make sure that you do subscribe and let's just get right into it. So the first one that we're gonna start with is the red velvet. Now, I love a good red velvet cookie. So I'm really gonna try, like I said, I'm really gonna try to recreate this for you guys. So the ingredients are going to be beets. Yes, beets, they're a little bit sweet. That's gonna add our redness, you know, beets, yes. Then we're gonna be putting strawberries. We have our nut milk of choice. I'm using the 30 cal almond milk. You guys can use 30 cal vanilla as well. Make sure that it's 30 cal just so that we have the same macros. Then I'm gonna be using a chocolate vegan protein. I have my one up nutrition. Love this one, it's sweetened with stevia. Six ingredients, the best. Then I have some Meju dual dates. I literally could eat this whole bag, so good. And then some cocoa. All right, let's go. Okay, starting off with one cup of our almond milk here. I have a Vitamix, so grateful for this blender here. Make sure that you have a good blender because I have had my fair share of wrestling with blenders. One cup. One scoop of our chocolate protein. This has 24 grams of protein with minimal fat and carbs, which is amazing for a vegan protein. You guys can use whey as well if you would like. We're gonna be doing half a cup of our beets. So that is 125 milliliters. Oh my gosh, these smell so good. You're going to be using one date. I'm gonna make sure that this is pitted here so that we don't have any surprises. It's not pitted, make sure that you check that. We're going to be using a tablespoon of cocoa. Because we want it to be extra chocolatey. One teaspoon of vanilla. I think I forgot to tell you guys that we have that, but we definitely do. And I paid the big bucks for the organic version because the artificial version had a bunch of crap in it. And last, we're gonna be using one cup of strawberries. So one cup is 140 grams. That is everything, now let's give it a blend. Check out this beautiful color. This is exactly how I wanted it to look. Now, I'm gonna give it a little taste, make sure that it's delicious. Mm. See if we need to add anything else. I think it needs to be blended just a little bit more. Oh, oh damn, that's good. You know, it kind of smells like beets, but it tastes really chocolatey and like strawberry and like caramelly. Wow, okay, we're gonna blend it just a tiny bit more because we have some straws that are not blended all the way and then we're going to serve it. Yeah. 
Now that we have done our red velvet, do you see how easy that was? You guys, I love smoothies because they're so freaking simple to make and so jam packed with nutrients. They can be a meal replacement if you want. They could just be more of a high protein smoothie. It is totally up to you and I love it because they also make me a little bit full. Full for probably about an hour or two. I'm always hungry. So volume is good and smoothies will fill you up. Now, the next thing that we're gonna be doing is the pina colada shake and you guys have just opened my bag of frozen pineapple and it smells so good like this is a very sweet bag of pineapple which I'm glad because I was skeptical if I should get an actual pineapple mmm she's good let's get right into it it's gonna be simple we have minimal ingredients here we have our pineapple again we have our vanilla we have light coconut milk and we have vanilla protein powder, and then we have banana. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so again, one cup of almond milk. You guys can also do water as your base if you like. I just figured it would make these specific recipes a little creamier. Then we are going to be doing half a cup of pineapple. So that is going to be 70 grams. Perfect. Next up we have half of a banana. That is 41 grams. We are going to be doing half a cup of our coconut milk, which is going to be 120 milliliters. Half a teaspoon of our vanilla extract and one scoop of our vanilla protein. Again, you can do whey if you like. I personally do vegan pro protein powders because whey does not agree with my stomach. All right, let's blend it up. Okay, so our third and final smoothie. I'm a little bit partial to chocolate, so I think that this one's gonna be my favorite, but I might just be biased because there's cocoa nibs in there, there's avocado, there's cocoa, there's dates, there's vanilla, there's chocolate. It's gonna be so good. So, I kinda already knew this one was gonna be my favorite, but so far, we're doing pretty darn good. Now, if you guys do like the pina colada, the vegan vanilla proteins are very flavorful, so we kind of want to make it a little bit sweeter. I think I would add a little bit of mango, probably to mask the vanilla protein taste a little bit more, but it was still really good. Now, if you're using whey, you don't have to deal with that. It's just because I'm dealing with a vegan protein, and my girls that know what vanilla vegan protein tastes like know exactly what I mean. Why do we keep snapping today? I don't know. I don't know. But now, our third and final protein shake is going to be like a dessert. And it's gonna be a little bit higher calorie because I am going to put two dates in there, half of an avocado. Cocoa nibs are a really good source of fat as well. That is okay. So if you guys can fit this into your macros, you are going to love it. Now let's get right to it. One cup, 250 milliliters of our almond milk. Perfect one scoop of our chocolate vegan protein. Now, if you guys have the one of peanut butter vegan protein, I would highly recommend that too, but I only have the chocolate. We are going to be doing one tablespoon of cocoa nibs. Because I love a little bit of crunch in there, okay? So darn good. We're gonna be doing two pitted dates. One. Two, oh, I just love dates. Love them, love them, love them. One tablespoon of cocoa. One teaspoon of our vanilla extract. We're going to be putting 
20 grams of cashews. These are raw and salted. I don't mind the salt. And half of an avocado. She is thick, just the way we love her. You guys, the coconut whipped cream is completely optional, but how fun does it look, you know? Boom. You guys, you guys, I'm telling you right now, I nailed this smoothie, okay? And I'm gonna tell you a little story about this smoothie. It turned out exactly how I would have hoped for, what I was praying for, what I was wanting. It turned out like that. So this was inspired by a, a juice bar. It's called Juzu Bar back in Calgary. It's off of 17th Avenue. And they had a shake called Magnum. And it was so good. It was like my little treat. It was just creamy, delicious, a little bit of texture, just super chocolatey, like oh, so good. And I recreated that today. So I am one freaking happy girl. And if you guys know what that is and you love it as well, you are gonna be so happy. If you guys are a chocolate lover, you're hands down gonna love this. Like this one's so good. It is a little bit higher in fat, but it is worth it. So that wraps up today's video. My mouth is watering right now. That wraps up today's video of our three high protein smoothies. These are definitely going to satisfy your sweet tooth, you guys. So give them a try. Let me know what you think. If you guys have a favorite smoothie recipe, comment down below. I would love to hear from you. I wanna know what it is. And if you guys are looking for a little bit more of a greens drink smoothie, then check out my other video. I made a video solely dedicated to my greens detox smoothie that I have every single morning. I drink this upon waking before I have anything else along with my One Up Nutrition greens, red and greens drink. Now this is a really healthy, like nutrient dense, full of vitamins, antioxidants kind of smoothie. So if that's what you're looking for, then definitely go check that out. But these ones are sweet treats. They're delicious. So I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. Now that is going to wrap up this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love y'all. I'll let you know that One Up Nutrition is having a 50% off sale this week when you buy four or more supplements. So four supplements or more in your cart and enter my code at checkout, then you will get 50% off. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Muffin is playing with her little monkey right now. She's been a little monkey, so I gotta take her outside and take her for a walk. So that's it. I love y'all.